Hello everybody. It is October's Ask Me Anything. Are you making appointments all day for November? So I got a bit confused. Uh, so Ask Me Anything. I've got a couple of questions, but I thought while people are coming on and getting their questions ready, because you always get questions at last minute, I'd go through what is the bummies range of cloth nappies, because that's our brand of the month this month. So I'll just get straight into it. Is it going? No, no, it's not yet. I don't know if you can see James. James is here as well. We've got a laptop. James is just making a cup of tea. Because it's that time of night, cup of tea. So, okay, so here we go. So Bummies is mostly well known for their pretty folds. which come in packs of three or six. And there's three sizes. So that's how they come. They come in a nice little tote bag, which you can use for your shoes. Or we use ours for mushrooms. Which is yes, really good. Yes, <laughs> yes. So they come in three sizes. So you've got your, these have been washed, so they're nice and waffly and they shrink by about 10%, just a little bit because they're an organic cotton. So that's your newborn, has two layers, four and two. And then your infant, which is basically your one size. All right, that's a four, six, four. Is that right? Yes. And then your big baby one so if your bub's a little bit older you don't need to use a snappy with these which is what i love generally we recommend using the infant pre-fold you can use it from newborn up to toilet training okay so your infant pre-fold is your sort of one size you can use it from newborn to toilet training all right if you find you need more absorbency you can go up to the bigger size the newborn pre-fold is awesome because it's really trim all right, now what to cover them with? You have a choice of size. That's your little newborn cover, which is really nice. It's got a double gusset as well. Uh, and then it goes up in sizes up to a extra large, which is awesome. And then you have one size covers as well. They're really super stretchy. So um, really good to go with the dimple diaper. And if you like the old-fashioned um, pilches, okay, you can still get them, but they're actually made of pool. And they're really nice, stretchy, and fit really well. So if you're using the old flats with pins and um, snappies, even pre-folds, you can get these from Bummies. This is the only brand that does them that I have been able to see. Okay, what else do they do? Question from Trudy. Yes. Why do you fold it that way? Why do I fold it that way? Question from Trudy. So you can fold it either in three, Trudy, this way and pop it in the cover, which is fine. I tend to fold it in three or four because you can actually get more absorbency through the middle. And depending on what size setting you have on your cover, you can fold it either way. You can find what works for you. So I know Trudy folds them this way and they fit in the cover. I tended to fold it the other way because I had more absorbency through the middle and I need that for Abigail so that's why Trudy alrighty can I hopefully I can move on Trudy Trudy's the expert on the dimple diaper this is a one size nighttime nappy it's super trim super soft um, Trudy's used it with her heavy wetter kids with great success it's nice big wings you can tuck it around the side it is one size and you can boost it with their booster, deluxe booster, which is nice and trim. It's organic cotton with a bit of a fibre of bamboo through it. It's a really good um, booster. If you find you need more boosting, add yourself a pre-fold in there as well. So we've just done a video which is up on the YouTube for the dimple diaper. Awesome. So everything interchanges. Okay, what else do they do? Pop your questions up as you go. That's James's job. Uh, the newest nappy on the block is their one size, uh, one all in one. I love this. I love this. Um, I should say all of um, Bummy's nappies are made in Canada, apart from the prefolds, which are made in Pakistan, and their organic cotton. So their all-in-one is a one size, four size settings, 
And what I love is you can choose either stay dry or organic cotton to go against baby's bottom and you have a pocket in it as well. I really love it. So if you were using pre-fold with your newborn, here's your booster. You can pop that in your pocket for some nighttime boosting. You can even put the infant fold in as well. So that's their one size all in one. Next, they do do an all in two. It's a two stage system. So this is stage one. Similar to the all in one, you have a choice of stay dry or organic cotton. And on each of the sizes, you have sizing again. So the bonus of a two stage system is it's a, a lot usually a lot trimmer than the one size and these just snap in here underneath depending on which you prefer stay dry or organic cotton against baby I'm waiting for my cup of tea and it's arrived alrighty so that pops in there and that's your all in two system now unlike a lot of all in twos on the Australian market which you have to generally replace the whole cover because they've got a polyester lining. These are wipeable, so you can reuse them, which I really love. Alrighty. I'll just quickly go through what else they do. They do do a potty pant. These are absorbent. They hold a little bit more than most potty pants because there is quite a bit of more absorbency in there. Not designed for a nighttime nappy, but they do hold a little bit more than just a little accident and come in multiple sizes. They're like little pants and they're really stretchy and lovely. Okay, they also do a swimmers. So they do their size swimmy, which is Velcro. These just fly off the shelf. Um, the Velcro is all hemmed, so it's not gonna pop on bub and it doesn't hurt bub, so they're not gonna be scratched. They also do a one size swimmy as well. Awesome. Got your liners, disposable and non-disposable. Then they do some mum, uh, cloth pads and nursing pads. What else have I got? And you've seen the best ever bibs and just normal feeding bibs that all have the pocket. There you go. I think that's it. Trudy's We've... commented, they look big enough to use as a night nappy for a normal wedding baby. Yes, all in one. The, the all-in-one. All in one. Oh, yeah, they are a larger size, Trudy. Thank you. She always knows what to ask. And they've got a bit of a wider groin, so there's lots of room to use as a night nappy by stuffing it. So I'll put the infant pre-fold in, <clears throat> and I can show you. It still works out nice and trim. You can. You do stuff it. So I folded that in three. Do you want to put the camera down? No, no, no. I folded that in three. And I'll shove it in the pocket. Okay, so it's got enough room to spread your absorbency out. You're not stuck with it just being a little bit or being too narrow. Um, if you do stuff it, you may need to change the sizing on your nappy a little bit. And that's with the pre-fold in it. So you've still got you've still got lots of room to boost as well. You've got room to put another booster in if you need to, okay. which is lovely. Um, I will say their snaps are different. They're made in Japan, so they're really high quality snaps. And you'll see that you have a female and then a male. So it's a little bit more stronger, which I think is lovely. Uh, organic cotton, and then it's the same as what's in the deluxe booster. It's a combination of um, cotton and rayon from bamboo. So um, very trim but highly absorbent. Does that answer the question? So there is, it is a pull outer. It comes in there, prints, uh, and the lining. Can I show? Do you want to show the lining? So the inside of the pants are cotton, so it's nice against bub skin. So it's a, it, you do have a little bit of that feel wet feeling, which is what you want when they're toilet training. And then the inside is rayon from bamboo and organic cotton. Noise. I, I'm not even sure I'm in. Oh, there we are. Right. Um, are you in? I think I am. The video we're watching is about 10 seconds 
Slow. Okay, and the first question for tonight is... Little boys, how do you place absorbency? How do you fold them? All right, so Louise was wondering, she has a little boy. Um, I've got three. And was how to use the boosters. So no matter what booster, most of them are this shape. Okay, you can fold it in half and put it towards the front of the nappy. So this is your nappy, this is the back, this is the front, place it towards the front. So if you have any stay dry, that goes on top obviously. We go, if you have an all-in-one where the flap is sewn to the front of the nappy, fold it forward, so you get more absorbency towards the front. Another option that we use, and I actually made some of my own, was made some wool boosters. And these are trim and can hold a lot of their weight. Again, you can place it towards the front, put it inside. If you have a pocket, you can pop it inside the pocket. The idea is just to put a, just an extra few layers towards the front of the nappy Louise. I hope that answers your question. If not, leave a comment and I can answer it again. Might even have to do a little video tomorrow. Okay, we so that's Louise. Brooke, Brooke is asking if we can show the bummies simply light designs and the different settings for them. Okay, I can do that. So, Brooke obviously received two styles in a pack. Um, so, Bummies changed hands about a year ago. Um, the original owners had it for 27 years um, and changed hands to new owners. Um, I will, we are the distributor, Gaff Kelly is the distributor for Bummies, and I think they're great. And they do, it's great talking to them because they do everything in French. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, I, I love French. Okay, so the two designs is so on the first, the first one that came out under the not old owners because they're still around, is it just misses the middle snap on the top row that you snap down to. So there's your male snaps you snap down. It just misses this middle one. There is actually no reason for it. That's just how they designed it. That's it really. And you get two, three, two rows to use. On the new design, it looks more used to what, we've, what we're used to. So three females and one male, and they've got it all through the section. It's just a change in design. Um, so it was good to see new owners come in because they've um, modernised a lot of the brand. Um, it's still made in Canada, which is beautiful, and they're really taking it places. It's really exciting. We're quite... We've got lots of news coming through and James and I are quite ecstatic. Very excited. Yes, you do. Alright, I'll show it. So if you've got a newborn, alright, so we do see, particularly when um, new parents come in and get cloth nappies, they do get a little bit confused with all the snaps and a, a friend who is a um, engineer and is very particular does talk about the vomiting of snaps on the front of some nappies and how confusing it can be. And we see some parents taking this very top row and actually using it to size the nappy, which is not the right way to do it. So if you are a new parent watching and you've made that mistake, that's fine. You use this second row of male snaps and snap it down. Now on the bummies one size covers, watching watching them and you don't you can either because of the way they're designed you don't have to actually so we've had this discussion quite a few times in the group you don't actually have to fold it up you can fold it down because of the design of it it just saves a little bit of guesswork and as you can see it doesn't stick out so that that's a little bit of a difference and the design is it dips in the front to allow for your umbilical cord on newborn you do have a little, little bub, you can make it smaller and, and that's a mistake that does happen and actually use that to snap down a little bit lower. That's fine, you can still, you get a few snaps to snap around their waist when they're small. Is that clear? Yeah? Greta asks how to deal with smells. With smells. Mm. So Greta wanted to know about a sn smelly nappy pail bucket wherever you store them. So the best tips are make sure you put the poo down the toilet is the first one and I'm sure you're doing that. Poo down the toilet 
Give them a rinse um, if it's a heavy wee smell. Just give them a quick rinse. Put them into your um, pail and dry pail. <laughs> James is sniffing. <laughs> Can't help it. Um, into your dry pail and leave the lid off. The beauty of using wet bags is that they're breathable. So you can still cover them up, they're breathable. But I actually put my nappy straight into the washing machine and leave the lid up. You can, if you have a, a bucket or a, whatever you use, just leave the lid off. If you have a um, wet bag, don't overstuff it. All right, if you are using a pail, and we did have with Nathan particularly, who was whiffy, um, we got into trialing quite a few different products because he was really whiffy. Mm. All right, so one that we've had, these are the ones we've had success with um, and even made our own concoctions and tried different things. So this one is from Pure Bamboo. It's a, just draws odours from the um, atmosphere. You put it at the top of your bucket lid. We actually use this one in our boys' toilet. Three boys learning to use the toilet needed something. Um, so there's only a few of those left. The company has actually gone out of business. Um, not because the brand's bad, just that's business that sometimes happens. So there's that option. There's six in a pack, six of those in a pack. And to um, what I like is that you can put it into your compost or your garden. So there's no chucking out. Um, from Pumpkin Butt, there are citrus circles that smell like citrus. So you could use these anywhere, even in the car, top of the lid. All right, there's those. Then you get into, if, if it's your child's particularly smelly, you can, as you put each nappy in or every second nappy, put a layer of a deodoriser in. Um, I did try, not bicarb, bicarb? Mm, pretty sure. Bicarb. I think it was bicarb with a few bit of essential oils. Not a good idea. Um, it, getting, it got clogged and cluggy. This, this is talking oh, six years ago, seven years ago, yes. when there was none of these products available and we're trying to deal with it. So this one's really good. It's, it's sodium bicarbonate with essential oils. It's, I don't know what they've done to it. It just works better than what I was doing. I don't think, maybe I needed to sieve it when I was doing it. I don't know. Anyway, so it's, it's sodium bicarbonate. When I did it, we ended up all clumpy. So we gave up. So we use something like this. The other one is Rocking Green. Do those. They come in a few different scents depending on what you like. Um, and you just put a little bit into the actual pail and then just launder as usual. So you don't do it each time you put a nappy in. That's one way to get rid of smells. Dear Greta. I hope that helps. All right. Last question I think is probably one for Tanil. Okay, it's from Alicia. I think it's Alicia or Alicia. 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 Sorry. Uh, wanted to know the difference between the bummies and the baby behinds cloth pads. So the ma major difference is that bummies come in three sizes, and we've sold out of the smaller size. Um, so they come in three sizes. This is your regular, the baby behinds. They have a top layer of cotton velour and a core of bamboo and a pull backing. The, I see if I can get one out. Yes, the bummies also have a pull backing. It's organic cotton, uh, same component as their dimple diaper and their um, Booster. Boosters, training pants, so really absorbent. They do tend to, because of the organic cotton, it does sh um, shrink a little bit, so there is a little bit of more gentle washing. These ones and the snaps are on the inside, so it can be a little bit trimmer compared to the baby behinds, which are all one piece of material. So that's the main, so you can see the difference. All right. When you go up to the next size, the bummies are actually, they come off so you can replace the pad, which can work out more economical. So you're not buying the whole pad.
had. So that's the baby beehives and that's the bummies. So you get a set of three and they just snap on. Uh, talked to a few mums and looked at a lot of the reviews and basically you don't actually leak through to the pool layer by the time you actually get to needing to change unless you have a very heavy monthly cycle. Yeah. We might sign off. We've, we we've answered everyone's questions. Mm. I showed everyone the bummies range. I won't show you the mess that's down in this area. It's filthy. Um, that'll be James's job to clean up. All right, guys. We'll um, pop your questions. Um, if you have any, that's fine. And we will see you, well, I'll probably see you in a few days with another video.